much so we can be a little crooked. Mm -hmm. We might just look, we might look straight to everyone if they're <laughs> suffering any kind it's of a hangover. <laughs> hangover. I haven't had a hangover in decades. Seriously. I, yeah, I've had a slight hangover. Like if I drink wine, red wine, for some reason it makes my neck ache a little bit in the morning. Well, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. huh. I don't know if that's considered a hangover, but. I don't think so. No. Hi, Happy New Year from the Naughty Knit West. Yes, 2023. <laughs> it's crazy. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm Michelle. <laughs> I'm Leslie. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's been three weeks since our last confession. Has it? Hasn't it? I don't know. I think it was before Christmas, right? Yeah, but it wasn't Christmas, Christmas a week ago. <laughs> I, mean, I, I honestly don't know. But it was before know. then. So it's been at, le at least two weeks, but that's our normal. I yeah. think it's been longer than that. I'm not really sure. But so either think, way, yeah. here we are. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, Happy New Year. Hope everyone had a nice Christmas. And yes. Then... Yeah. Do you, yeah. Any, do you have any New Year's resolutions? I don't do that. <laughs> I, mean, I learned long ago like that it's... Failing and being a loser. No, it's just a, you know... Carry on. <laughs> just keep, keep at... I mean, I have things that I'm always... Mm. not always working on. I have things that I always should be working on right. about myself yeah. that sometimes I do really good mm -hmm. and then sometimes I do nothing. Because I have that all or nothing right. and I'm really trying to work through that like, yeah. um, you know, because it would mm -hmm. I'd have much better success mm -hmm. and anyone would if they would just find that happy middle ground yeah. instead of being all or nothing. But yeah. Just lower our standards a little bit more. I've been doing know? that for years, honey. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Your standards are just too high. <laughs> they went way down, especially over the last five. Oh, They've really plummeted, but you know. Then we can meet them, maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. That might be. Maybe they really started dipping after fifty because I've been in maybe. my fifties almost five years now, maybe. and I, yeah. I just said the last five years yeah, I've really noticed go. a plummet. So <laughs> maybe there's something to Expectations are super low. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, well, I think, I don't even know. I think maybe we'll just start Dive with right our in. stuff because yeah. otherwise we might. I feel like I have so many projects that I like, I'm forgetting about everything. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I haven't worked on that in a while. Oh, gosh, I forgot about that one. I feel like I have like, um, I don't want to say ADHD because I don't want to. Be offensive. I don't want to offend people that right. have that because that's not cool. But I, I just feel like I, like my attention span is all over the place. Like I keep casting on stuff and I keep buying patterns and it's like, oh my gosh, just calm down and finish what you've got. <laughs> it's just crazy. I feel like I have too many projects. Our lovely friend, viewer, and also a podcaster, um, Anna, mm. she, she does these like monthly prompt things mm -hmm. and her one for, I don't know if it's like for all of 23 or if it's like, it's got to be, but maybe it was a January thing. Mm -hmm. Shows how much attention I pay. Yeah. Uh, because I also have that issue. Yeah. <laughs> um, is like for every day to dedicate, like pick an amount of time mm -hmm. every day, which to me is already, I'm like, I can't do anything every day. Right. Um, there are things I do every day, but mm -hmm. if I commit to doing them every day, I probably wouldn't do them every right. day anymore. Except for going to the bathroom. I mean, well, you know, you kind of have to it just that. happens. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens. It's not even a conscious decision. Right. It just happens. You don't have to commit to that. I'm not really there yet, just okay. for the record. Okay. But anyhow, that you'll touch, like pick a project that has been just languishing mm -hmm. or, you mm -hmm. know, whatever, and then really commit to working on that for yeah. X amount of time every yeah. day. Yeah. I kind of have mixed feelings on that mm -hmm. because part of me is like, if I don't want to work on it, mm -hmm. my life's too short. Right. And to work on something you don't want to. Exactly. But then on the other hand, I think there are things... What comes to mind is like my bubbles card again mm -hmm. that probably if I finished it I'd be happy it was done totally you would be oh <laughs> heck yeah you would be yeah You'd but be I I just I have such an attitude about that thing right now yeah I need to pull it out and yeah. and I actually was going to yet yeah, before we podcast that mm -hmm. was kind of my goal was at least pull it out and do a stripe on the sleeve just mm -hmm. do something so that you can get into working on it yeah. again and I didn't get that done. See, I'm already, I've already failed at resolutions I that I didn't make just I about podcasting today. So 
Well, see, my problem was, I mean, we had the kids over for Christmas Eve and I, my chair, I've talked about it before, but it's surrounded by project bags mm -hmm. and I just live in this bubble of project bags mm -hmm. surrounding me. So if there was ever a fire, I'd be in trouble because I would step get on. out quick, you know, you could, for life and get or death, a, a, yeah, a needle poked in my foot yes. or something. So anyway, when I knew they were coming over, I was like, I got to clean this stuff up. So I just pick up all my bags and put them in the back bedroom. Well, mm -hmm. then I forget about them after mm -hmm. they leave because everything looks so nice and picked right, up. Yes. But then... Three or four days later, I go in that room because I don't go in there very often. It's the exercise room, so I never go in there. <laughs> and there's bags sitting there, and I'm like, oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot about that project that I was working on. And so I drug them all back out, so now my chair is covered again with... And I don't know if that stresses me out, like if I should leave some back there and just have a couple around my chair or... <sighs> Or out of sight, out of mind, if I should keep them all around me. I don't know. I don't know, because we've tried, we've tried a lot of different before. things. Yeah. Like, I've kept notebooks of all my stuff. I've done yeah. the picture thing where I've taken pictures of my whip. Yeah. Like, I've tried all these different things. Yeah. And it's just the same old. I know. Um, yeah, I don't know what the solution is. I don't like the mess. I don't neither. like being surrounded by bags. But at the same well, time. Like, what, you know, my that big, huge basket I got. Would yeah. that work for you? Maybe. I already have a big basket. Not that big, but a big basket yeah. in front of me that has. No, I'm I, even, I have a huge one that all my project yeah. bags can go in. No, that's true. I guess. If I <laughs> least, because you know what was nice about that? Uh -huh. Yes, it's a little obnoxious, but... When I want, like the other day we were doing something, I was gone. I went to the store or something mm -hmm. and Michael was outside and we didn't lock up Grace. Mm -hmm. We normally lock up the puppy because she's still, you know. Yeah. And, but I did, I just picked up that basket and put it in the yarn shire That's so that nice. she couldn't get into it instead yeah. of, you know, like. So it is, it's easy to put away if you need mm -hmm. to. Yeah, true. Maybe true. I'll send it home with you and you can try it till yeah. next podcast. Where'd you get you it like? Uh, some Etsy shop. Etsy shop, you have to send me the link. And it wasn't, you know, it was like, I mean, I'm sure it probably came from China. Yeah. It wasn't a handcrafted right. one, but it would have been hundreds of dollars oh, if it had yeah. been. And I'm yeah. not going to spend that for, sure. for that, you know. No, I mean, that might be the solution because I do have a basket that's a good sized basket but it, it it's full already yes. with stuff and so i feel like yeah <laughs> a bigger one i could really put, maybe i just need yeah. to get a garbage can okay next to my sure. chair if that's gonna make you feel better I, you know bags. go for it i don't know <laughs> i'm just like there has to be a solution to where i can like feel like it's organized but yet not out of sight completely because I literally was working on a project every single day during the Christmas holiday and I put it in that back room and I didn't look at it until this morning when I went to grab it and I was like oh my gosh I liked that yeah what? so the, and the problem with the big basket then is, is it's it still going to be out of sight true you still have to remember true. so it's buried in there maybe take pictures again yeah maybe you know and well, or just focus on like three and get them done. Because I do like the idea of being monogamous in that I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm actually producing something. I'm making something. Yeah. And I feel like right now I'm not making any progress on any one thing. I don't yeah, feel like. Yeah, I get like, that. I know? understand that. And so then I feel like nothing gets finished. It's kind of like we had a conversation the other day about a conclusion that I've come to about myself and knitting is mm -hmm. the things that I do that I actually wear. Yeah aren't really fun to knit. Yeah. You know? Interesting. I mean, it's more practical. Or, yes, exactly. Okay. But like, you know how we're talking, like I'm wearing this right mm -hmm. now. This is the everybody loves me poncho yeah. and I love it. Yeah. And it was fun to knit. So this is an exception. Okay. But like, what do I, okay. I mean, socks mm -hmm. and I like having socks to work on, but it's not earth shattering. It's not right. like, it doesn't make you feel like oh, I'm so happy. I'm a knitter. Right. I don't know what would make you feel that way, but yeah, but like, the different shawls and mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't wear shawls. I know. But there's so there's so many fun ones. And they're so pretty. But I feel like, okay, what do I wear? See, I wear my half and half. So that's it. I don't wear any of my other fingering weights, super wash. I don't wear any of those. I wear my half and halves. That's what I put on, which is weird. Or my Plotilope one, that one. Whatever. I can't remember the name of that one. But um, So that I think I'm just going to start. If I see a pattern, something comes up that I think looks fun to knit, whether mm -hmm. or not I'd use it, I think I'm just going to... Yeah, just gift it, I guess. It. I mean, I did that. I gifted that pink hat from last podcast, gave it to my sister. I was like, she'll probably oh, good, wear it. Good. And I gifted my mom the burgundy no the green and the green cowl you know that big cowl yeah i mean i guess i have you guys viewers yeah i could send it to viewers or <laughs> and, yeah i could do it to a homeless shelter or something but i'm not yeah I'm, i mean yeah i i guess i guess like i mean i i could i, I don't know yeah 
Um, yeah. All right. Moving on from that. Yeah. There was, that made me think of something, but I can't remember what now. See, and I find that I'm not wearing any of my knitted sweaters at all since I've been working now. Yeah. I just, I don't wear them to work, right. obviously. And then when I get home from work, I stay in my work clothes because they're just casual clothes anyway. Yeah. And I used to wear them all the time. Yes, And you now do. I never wear them. And that's, that's a thing is like... I could knit sweaters, but mm. I would not wear them. Yeah, and see, I'm sad because I have, like, two sweaters on the needles right now, and I'm like, am I really going to wear them? I don't know. I mean, when would I wear them? Weekends? On a weekend. I know. It's just I don't think of it on the weekends. I don't know. Mm. I don't know why. you got to start thinking of it. I know. Yeah. got to put them in the rotation. Put them in the rotation. And some of them are too big. I tried giving my mom that sweater that I knit with the white sparkle fingering weight yarn that I held double with the different mohairs, and so it's striped. Oh, uh-huh. I wore it on the podcast. Um, she was like, do you have any sweaters you can give me? You know, oh, I was like, nice. yeah, mom, yeah. here's this one. Well, she brought it back. She's like, it's way too big. I'm like, I know it's a huge sweater. I knit it when I was bigger and, and it was big knit already. It size. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, so I was like, it's okay. So she gave it back to me. So I was like, it's just sitting in my closet and it's beautiful, but you can wear it with leggings. I mean, that's what I tried telling yeah. her. I said, you know, you can just wear a baggy sweater with leggings, but I don't know. So what about Libby? Cause she's taller. That's true. So she's might... taller. I could see she's got really long arms though. So I don't oh. know if the arms would be not long. Well, it was to designed try. to be a, you know, the kind that come to here. <laughs> a bracelet length or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. So who knows? I don't know, but I just, I kind of been thinking about that lately too. Like what should I knit and what? Yeah. Blankets. That's why I end up <laughs> got doing two blankets, blankets on and socks. Blankets, blankets and socks. Yeah. I should do socks because I have been wearing my wool socks to work. Yeah. And those have definitely kept my feet warm. So I guess that's a practical thing that I would actually use during the winter time now. Especially. And hats. I mean, but you don't really do the hats. I hat wear thing. the hats at work. Yeah, I thought I would. but I so love far, that hat that Carrie did for you. You should pull it out and show so it right cute. now. Yes. Yes. Carrie knitted. Carrie, the hat. creative obsession yes, if you don't you watch, watch her. her podcast. Not the cutest hat ever. I just love those colors. I There's love something really the color. striking. I think about it those. is that color though. The the is. avocado the dyed, avocado dyed, dyed the pink. And that green. It's just it's an awesome perfect. it's really Which of course why would we expect any different from Carrie? The no, color, true. She's she's awesome at colors. She is. But it's gorgeous. I wonder if the green is one of hers too, maybe. Maybe because she used to dye yarn. Brim. It's so nice. Oh, yes, I do like those. So Carrie, what pattern is this? It's so pretty. We're going to be texting you. Before you even see this, we'll have already contacted yeah, you. But thank you so much. In fact, you should get Beautiful. on your phone right now. That's right. And text Carrie and say, what <laughs> So we can let everybody this? know. I should. Okay. Sure. We'll see. She'll respond to us. Now. Of course she will. Yes. Well, I'm going to jump in. Jump too. in while I, finished, I text Carrie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I finished my Sophie scarf. I finished it a while ago, actually. But, nice. Um, and I've worn it a couple of times. It. What's funny about this, though, is... So I added eight inches between the increases and decreases because in the pattern you just, you do your increases and then you go and you start decreasing. And mm -hmm. I knew that was going to be way too short for me, how I wanted to wear it. So I added the eight inches and I got to about here. So I had about this much to go and I ran out of the Suri alpaca. So mm -hmm. I had to buy more. Which is funny because I don't even know how well I'm going to be able to tolerate it. Mm -hmm. But I had to buy another skein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's fine because I'll, you know what I might do is just even use it on socks. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. um, uh, Shauna, Shauna Stitches did mm -hmm. some, was it her? No, it was Nitty, Nitty by Nature, mm -hmm. Melissa. Melissa, okay. She did some socks. Um, and maybe Shauna did too. I don't know. Maybe a lot of you have done it. Mm -hmm. But. I think we've talked about it before. Mm -hmm. Socks with the suri or the mohair would be nice. Make it very soft. Very soft. But slick. Don't you think they'd be slick? They might. I wonder if that that might make them more slippery. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but soft and warm probably. Because yeah. that's the only problem I have with super Oops. wash socks is I feel like they're, they, they don't keep my feet as warm. The wool ones oh, keep gotcha. my feet warm. Right. I wouldn't know because I never knit... To keep warm. <laughs> that's valid. Yeah. And also with anything that's not super wash. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. like the rusticness it's of true. it. It's true. And some yarn. I bought that unique yarn. I didn't bring it out. I think mm -hmm. I showed it. 
Maybe I didn't. But anyway, it was going to be fun to see what it mm -hmm. turned into because yeah. I, I couldn't really remember. But it doesn't have any nylon in it. So oh, that's it, right. Yeah. So. so I don't think I'll, I think I'll be doing a hat or something. Yeah. But anyhow, okay. back to this. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably, I did take a picture of it on my neck, but I cropped my head off because mm -hmm. you just really need to see the other okay. part of it. So mm -hmm. I'll put that in here. Nice. But it was fun. And yeah, it's just it's my Christmas one. It was just a bunch of different mm -hmm. Christmassy colors. So pretty. now it'll go away for a while. Yeah, but yeah, it's very pretty. Thank you. I don't think it's obnoxiously Christmas though. No, like, I think you know you could you could pull it off. I still. you know I could get away with it for Whenever. the length of time <laughs> that it's going to be cold enough to wear. Right. I right. mean, I've put it on uh, when I went to the store the other day mm -hmm. and it was super cold. Mm -hmm. When I got in the store, I took it off. But yeah. And then when I've walked the dogs a couple times, I've worn it because... I think I do need to make one of those, though, bigger because I made, you know, that pink one and I love it. I think it's cute, but I wish it was even just a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. Even with, like, if I were going to do another one, mm -hmm. I might even add 10 inches to the middle. Yeah. Because this one... Now, it depends on how you wear it. If you want to mm -hmm. be able to, like, the way, like, if you start here and then wrap it around the back and bring it forward, I wouldn't mind it being a little bit longer. If you just wrap it, you know, the once and do yeah. this, you know, well, then it's fine. But if you want to be able to have it all the way around your neck once mm -hmm. and, and have a little bit hanging down. Yeah. It could have, I could have done a little bit more. Or when I washed it, I could have tried to block it. Block it more I didn't, I washed it and I just let it dry. Yeah, that's kind of, I think that's what I did too. I don't think I really like pinned it out. I didn't pin it out or anything like that. I rarely do that anymore. Me neither. I'm such a lazy. Yeah. So Carrie said, I'm glad you like it. No pattern. It's done on my knitting machine. What? But I'm going to try to duplicate it with hand knitting. Okay. Well, I, okay, then I'm going to look. It's amazing. Because it looks like. A pattern that I I was telling Leslie mm -hmm. when we were talking about this a minute ago. I watched part of the three by the sea design mm -hmm. or whatever three mm -hmm. by the sea. I think it's designs. They have a shop that mm -hmm. I've shopped at a lot. They have mm -hmm. that now they created a podcast. Mm -hmm. And I was watching part of it the other day, and the gal showed a hat that looked a lot like that mm -hmm. and a cowl. Yeah, and it was something about petals. So huh. maybe at some point, yeah, I'll interesting. Look, I'll try to look up something. It's beautiful. That's amazing I did, I that you could do that on a knitting machine. I, I didn't think you could. I thought it was. I thought knitting machines you could only do like basic, you know, right? Whatever. But that's crazy. I know. That's Makes really cool. Get a knitting machine. I know. But then I think, why? Why? You know, like I don't need a machine. Yeah. Nothing against them, but like right. I'm not going to sit in my chair in the evening. Crank out with hats a, with a knitting machine on my lap. You know. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you were. Um, Somebody was talking about this on their podcast the other day about knitting machines. And they said, you know, if you were knitting for like a charity or something, oh, making sure. hats, you know, you could really crank them out pretty yeah. fast. And um, that would be cool. But, and if that's fun for you, like mm -hmm. I know Carrie likes to mess around with a lot of things. She does. And She's so, very talented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You saw because you said you watched her yeah. latest one mm -hmm. with the little woven. She's I doing know. some woven thing, making this little, and I love the look of woven yeah. mm -hmm. fabric. I just mm -hmm. don't want to be weaving. Yeah, I've thought about it. Devin um, on Nitty McPurley was talking on her two podcasts ago about weaving, and she'd bought a kit from Etsy, and I've I have it in my cart. You and do. I've just been wait. Is it like the thing that carries? It's a loom, done? like a loom that uh -huh. you you know you weave yeah. fiber and stuff into it, and it's a beginner kit. But okay. It comes with everything you need for just a beginner, you know, and. Um, uh, I vacillated, but she was talking about on her latest podcast that I watched last night. She was just saying how she's realized, you know, I don't have time right now for that craft Maybe because it's a hers. rabbit hole. You oh, know. sure. I mean, she, I think she'll keep that one because that's a small project and it doesn't take up a lot of time. She was talking about like carding and about getting oh. a drum card and about doing yeah. all that stuff. And she just said, you know, she's homeschooling her kids right oh, now. Gosh, she's yeah. got a business and doing yeah. yarn and patterns. And so... And I just feel like that's the same with me. I love And I don't spinning. do any of those things, and I feel that's okay. Yeah, like, and I, I love spinning yarn, but have I spun in the last two years? I, I don't think I have at all, And I, but I love spinning, but I don't do it. <laughs> so I obviously don't love it as much as I think. I don't know, or maybe I do love it. I just don't make the time for yeah, it. Yeah, well, have you pulled out your wheel? Like it's out in the living about? room. It's in okay. the living room, oh, so it's that's, out, that's it. but that's... it's not by my chair, <laughs> okay. you know, so... I don't know. I guess you can love things and not work on them still. Absolutely. So, yeah. 
So I, 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 d I never feel the draw to like sell my wheel. Like Good. I'm done. You know, yeah. like I definitely love my wheel and hope to get back to it someday. Yeah. But oh, you will. I don't know. These things always, you know, ooh, do this. For well, it's like you day. talking about picking time to work on projects. Like I feel like when I get home from work, sometimes I don't feel like knitting at all. I'm yeah. just tired or whatever. And then, um, or if I have stuff to do, running around to do or whatever. So it's like to pick one. I just don't feel like I have as much knitting time as I used to. No, obviously. you don't. Yeah. So it's like, um, yeah, I feel like that's another reason why I feel like I need to just focus on like three projects just so I feel like I'm getting them done. Well, that's maybe what you, you should know. do then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We figured Solving out problems. Leslie's issues. Solving problems. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Did you have you haven't finished anything? Have not finished anything. Worked on a lot of things, but have not finished anything. Well, show us something you've worked on. All right. <laughs> well, um, I did put a couple rows into my sweater here. The um, and I did get more yarn. Everybody was messaging saying, "Linen quill has more of the color you need." And I had already some. I, the first time somebody messaged, I went on there. And they were supposed to email me when that colorway came back in, and I never got an email. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was saying they were out of it. Right. And still I know. Gotten. We trust those things when yeah. they say that they'll email us. Yeah. So this is the classic by Spostrico. I haven't put much into it, which this is, I don't know why, because I love it. But the thing I'm, so I've split the hem. It's a split hem, okay. you know, detail. Um, and so I'm working on, I don't know if it's the back or the front. Um, and finishing that up and then I'll do, you guys can't see anything I'm doing here. Oh, well, so I'm doing the bring back it on over. and then I will transfer to the front to have this split hem. The thing I'm not loving about it is this side for some reason doesn't look as neat oh. as this side. This side looks perfect. Interesting. And there's... Because you wouldn't be doing um, anything different. No, I'm doing exactly what the pattern says. So, mm. I mean, I guess it looks fine. I don't know. It just kind of bothers me. How kind of it seems kind of loose in a way. It's a, I see what you mean. Yeah, and then this side to me just looks nice and perfect. Is it because you have the weight of the needle on that side right now? I don't think so. No, no. You can... it's weird. Yeah, mm. I don't know. So anyway, once I get this hem done, then it's to the sleeves, and then I'm done. So I'm anxious to get on the sleeves and get her done. I mean, I love this sweater. I think I'll, I think well, I say I think I'll wear it. Who knows? But I, I hope I hope I do. So not it's wearing it to work because it might get dirty or oh yeah, it would get it would get greasy. Okay. It would get. I would probably be too hot in it, um, okay. but mostly grease. I yeah, want to get grease. Yeah, grease and hand knits don't go good together. New. Although I have found, if anybody ever gets grease on anything, Dawn Superwash, the dish soap that you use on dishes. That is an amazing stain remover for any kind of stain you have. So I have gotten grease on some of my clothes before and I just spray the Dawn Superwash and let it sit for a minute or two, launder it, and the grease comes right out. So awesome. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, if it's good enough for the penguins. Exactly. It's good enough for... Exactly. Well, I finished my little socks. Cute. I mean, they're not really little because I have pretty big feet, but they are shorty socks. They're shorty socks, yeah. And this was a uh, yarn by Scrumptious Pearl. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the. And it was Let the Meat Cake or something. Nice. I've to double check. Color. I'm pretty sure it's Scrumptious Pearl, but yeah, I love the colors. They're fun. Beautiful. Um, I made them a little bit too long in the foot, mm. but whatever. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So I was just happy that I finished a pair of socks. Do you think they'll shrink up if you put them in the dryer? You know, maybe. maybe. It, I mean, yeah. that's that could happen. Yeah. 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 So I, think I know when I've too. tried that before with some things, I've completely ruined them. Yeah. But with socks, I think it's pretty safe. I know. I mean, I'm not careful with any of my socks, which Me some neither. of them show that I'm not yeah, careful same. with them because the, either the colors bled slightly or they pilled a little bit. And if I would have hand washed them, they yeah. probably would have looked beautiful forever. But I just, with socks, I can't be bothered with. I still regret the sweater that I ruined that I did out of the wool folk. Yeah. I've never been able to duplicate that, like how much I liked that sweater. Mm. And I should have, like, instead of trying all these different things, I should have just bought the exact same yarn in the same Started color again. and done that same pattern again. Because remember, mm -hmm. I did do the pattern again mm -hmm. in that other yarn. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I didn't, it didn't like it as much. 
Yeah. Um, I'm kind of over it now. Like, I don't really want to go do it again. The, the yeah. main reason is because I remember that it's knit on like a size 10 mm -hmm. needles and those hurt my hands. Yes. So. And that was for the longest time, probably one of my favorite sweaters. But then I look at it now and I still love it, but do I wear it now? Yeah. So it's like, but I did, I, I wore the heck out of it for the longest time. Cause I real I, I still, I mean, it's beautiful and it, the color's great. And, so, so one of our lovely, lovely viewers just sent us, sent Michelle and I a beautiful bag, which yeah. I proceeded to spill coffee on this morning. No, you didn't. Yes. <clears throat> not right there. Oh my gosh. You're always spilling I your know. coffee on stuff. I know. What the heck's we wrong with you me? A bib. a bib or, or a tarp for all my A tarp knitting. maybe. Yes. <laughs> so I won't show you the other side that has coffee on it, but here's, I'm going to try to Here's the bag that treatment. doesn't have any. Of course, I can't really so cast pretty. stones because I haven't had mine around coffee. Well, there you go. And actually, you know what I did today? What did you do? Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Stupid idiot. Uh -oh. Um, well, <clears throat> I don't know if, if you've been watching us or following me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. A while back, I got this floor lamp, this Verilux yeah. <clears throat> happy lamp. And it's been perfect because mm -hmm. it, it like bends mm -hmm. and so I can have it at the exact level mm -hmm. that I need it so that it doesn't get in my husband's eyes right when we're watching TV and it's like it gives me really good light I love the lamp mm -hmm. well um so Michael got a fire going this morning and we're sitting out there having our coffee and Grace you know when you bring firewood in I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys have this issue but it'll bring bugs in sometimes sometimes yeah and what we have what we get the most of besides we had these little beetles but are yellow jackets oh interesting. like they go in there to hibernate oh, or something and then they come in the house and they warm, warm up and they come to life oh gee so we see grace and she'd been staring down this bug and we didn't really worry about mm -hmm. it but then michael realizes it's a, a yellow jacket mm -hmm. so i don't even know what order things went in mm -hmm. but i went and got a glass to cover it mm -hmm. and then he was gonna you know do the thing to get mm -hmm. rid of it well, in the mix, as I'm trying to get out of the way, because mm -hmm. when there's a bee in the house, that's like a big problem. Yes, almost as big as or a spider. a yellow jacket. Mm -hmm. I think yellow jackets are worse. Like, I can kill yeah. a spider, no problem, because they're not going to fly at me, right. generally right. speaking. That's true. But the, the bees and stuff, the yellow jackets, because mm -hmm. they're just plain mean. Yeah. Anyway, I was trying to get out of the way, and I kind of stepped on my lamp, which I didn't think was that big a deal. Like mm -hmm. I just kind of ran into it mm -hmm. with my foot right at the perfect angle that, you know, the thing that plugs into the base mm -hmm. and then the adapter goes and plugs into the electricity, snapped it off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Snapped it off. Wow. So Michael was able to, with a magnifying glass and some tweezers, pull the thing out that's broken off now from the adapter. Mm -hmm. And I went on their website and they have adapters, replacement adapters for like all their lamps except for this one. Oh gosh. So I sent them a message and we'll see if, you know, if they have one. It would really be stupid that their best, I mean, it's right. their most expensive lamp. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. You wouldn't would, have a part. Yeah, you would that's think weird. you could get the. Yeah. So I'm hoping that they that do stinks. because yeah like i really need my lamp i need my lamp yeah so, so anyway you spilling coffee on your bag at yes. least at least you can fix that you can probably yes. wash it i'll probably wash it yes i think it will anyway yeah but but and beautiful. she always sends really pretty cards look at that card isn't that so pretty it's beautiful she always sends i want to remember i want to live i want to be in here mm -hmm. next christmas yes. i just want that yeah, let's little, go there yes let's go there whatever that, that is. is yeah maybe it's where oh, she, she is just she like that those. But anyway, thank you so much. It was a lovely surprise. Yes. Lovely bag. But anyway, in this project. In that project bag you have. I have two projects. So this one, I was watching Suburban Stitcher, and she was knitting on a shawl. This is the one that this got me the thinking. One. This is the one. And uh, I messaged her, and I felt so bad because I was watching her podcast, and she didn't mention the name of it. But I knew she probably mentioned the name of it in past vlog vlogmas episodes. But I wasn't. I had watched all of hers, but I was like, I'm not going to go back and watch another one and try to, you know. So I messaged her. I was like, I'm so sorry to ask you. You probably mentioned it, but uh, can you tell me what the name of that shawl is? You know. And she was so sweet and told me the name of it. And um, she's actually going to have a kit with her minis in it to make it it's pre it's on pre-sale pre -sale right now and hers are gorgeous so hindsight i should have waited so i could order hers because i think her colors are gorgeous i just picked colors on my own and i i like them but not as much as hers 
So if you want to order hers, I recommend it. But I couldn't wait to start this until, you know, so I had to get it now. So this is called the What Tomorrow Brings by Telly Bean Knits. It's just in black and white, so it doesn't look spectacular there. But um, I just loved that every day, you know, you're supposed to do every day, but I haven't. But put in another row, you know, and do different minis and things like that. So... I just thought it looked fun and it has been fun. It's been very addicting. So now I'm to the point, this is the right, this is the wrong side. So now I'm to the point now where I think I pick up there and pick up all these stitches, I think, and add stuff to it. So I'm excited to do that. But, um, but yeah, I wished I would have gone with more subtle colors. I don't like this color. I don't like that one. Um, so I, I don't know. I, but I was, I was being partly lazy because I didn't want to have to wind yarn. So, you are so funny. Some of these were like ones that were already wound. And so I was like, cool. So I meant to ask yeah. you, um, mm -hmm. not about this project. Yeah. Know, I'm looking at it like I was going to specifically ask you. I do mm -hmm. really like that. Yeah, one. I do too. It's beautiful. Uh, so your, um, your Swift and Ball mm -hmm. Winder, mm -hmm. do you have those set up somewhere? Mm -mm. No, I have to get them out each time. Okay. Why mm -hmm. don't you in your yarn room or whatever mm. why don't you have them set up so that you don't have to do that i could it still wouldn't change things because it's so easy to set up on my kitchen counter but i just it's not but about it's that already, i know but if it's already set up you've taken a step away mm. out of it yeah because i have mine set up in the yarn mm -hmm. room and every day well not every day because i'm not doing it every yeah. day but when i was doing it every day with my um charming you mm -hmm. advent yeah I would just go in and wind it up that day. Mm -hmm. And it really wasn't a big deal. But mm -hmm. if I had to get my thing out and set it up mm -hmm. each time, yeah, it would. I don't know if that matter. I just hate winding on period. I just hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And what I've been doing with the minis is they fit perfectly around my quilt rack, perfectly like tight. So I've just been hand winding them all the way around oh when gosh. I do it, but I don't so do it very funny. often. But I just don't like winding yarn, period. If I could pay someone to wind my yarn, I would do it. But how anyway. Much, how much would you pay? I don't know. I mean, with top. I'm just talking about like when I used to go to knit shops, you know, and I'd buy yarn and I'd, they'd be like, you want us to wind it for you? Yep. Please do. Cause I don't like it. It would be yet. nice if all the minis that you buy came the way the real one yes. do. That would solve all my problems. All my life's problems. I think that's so funny. See, and I had to put Carrie's yeah. avocado dye here. Do you want to come up and gorgeous. say hi? So anyway, now I'm to the point where I put these on hold and then I think I have to pick up all the way across. So this is a very addictive knit because it changes all the time. And you're changing yes. colors. And I and love that aspect of it. Yes. And when I looked at the finished projects, yeah. I liked that aspect. Yeah. I don't love, on yours I might, Yeah. but I don't love what comes next. The picking up all the stitches. Well, I don't like picking up stitches. Like yeah. that to me would be like you winding yarn. I yeah. hate doing it. Yeah. And no, no. And I don't like, the actual look, maybe, mm -hmm. I mean, it will just have to be that. It, Grace, honey, it might just be that the ones that I looked at, I didn't love. Yeah, the finished mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the thing, I don't know, like when I saw um, Diane from Suburban Stitchers, hers was just gorgeous and elegant and pinks and creams. And like, I definitely like hers better, you know yeah. what I mean, than mine. But um, you know, it's funny, when I looked at the first ones that had used her advent, mm -hmm. it was those colors, but then there was also like yellow and blue. And oh, really? Interesting. On the bottom. Interesting. Did you see finished ones? I haven't. I've just okay. seen the progress so far that Diane's made on hers. <sighs> and I love I'm sorry hers. that Grace is barking. <laughs> So annoying. So I I don't know. I mean I haven't now that Diane's done with Vlogmas. I don't I don't know if I'll see any more of hers because I don't know if she's podcasting on a regular basis, you know. But um, but from when she started hers, I, that's what got me like, oh my gosh, I have to knit that. That's the perfect advent. It shawl, it really was know? like that part yeah. of it. I want that yeah. in a in a bigger scale, mm -hmm. which I mean I'm sure I can mm -hmm. find. But um, I mean so, I don't mind picking up the stitches. I just. To me, it's gonna take me a while to sit there and kind of go, okay, halfway through is here. Let me make sure I pick up enough. Yeah. That's always a little tricky, but. I keep getting this message. I got it on my phone and my iPad and my Mac uh, laptop. No, big computer, yeah. whatever you call those, the big ones. Your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage on a new iPhone. And I Weird. don't have a new iPhone, but the only option it gives you is to say, okay. 
It doesn't say if you didn't do this. Right. If do you don't something. like this, yeah. But I don't know. It just says okay. Well, it's not okay. Weird. If you recently signed into iPhone, you can ignore this notification. But what if I didn't? Right. There's no option for that. Yeah. Weird. Anyhow, so I'm probably Weird. being hacked at this moment. Yeah, who knows? Who so knows? my... My... Uh, were you done? I'm sorry. No, no. This is just the next project that was in that same bag. So okay. I'm waiting. So. Well, you've yeah. got probably it's more fine. than that. Well, who knows? I've been working on my advent blanket, mm -hmm. which at some point will no longer be an advent blanket because I, I will use so. other oh, right. minis yeah. in it. But so far I've been doing the Charming You ones. Hers are gorgeous. They've been really so fun. Pretty. Um, it's just the puff stitch. Mm -hmm. I did not, I did do a little swatch thingy mm -hmm. with a bigger hook. Smaller. Smaller hook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause you thought those I wanted them closer to together. Yeah. Right. And I didn't like how that looked. Um, now Shirley, one of our Shirley friends mm -hmm. mentioned, and I wish I had thought of this. Like sometimes mm -hmm. I just don't think about the obvious things. Yeah. I should have just done puffs with a couple more yarn overs in them. Oh. Bigger puffs. Didn't think of to it. To fill in the gaps. And your message came a little out. too late. Well, yeah, but it wouldn't <laughs> matter because I really didn't want to start over. No, you know, no, Let's be exactly. honest. I didn't want to start no, over. No. But anyway, sure. I'm happy with how this is going. I'm in no hurry. Like this is a, this can take me all year. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's totally fine. In fact, I kind of thought about, so when I get done with Charming Yous, mm -hmm. then I will start Happy Mermaids, mm -hmm. adding those mm -hmm. in. And I thought, I've got a million minis mm -hmm. that I can continue mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. or I could put it away and next Advent mm -hmm. season, yeah. this could just always be an Advent blanket mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. could just keep going. Yeah. So I don't, I'm not sure yet what yeah. I'll do, but um, it's lots of options. so freaking long. Remember mm -hmm. how I told you that I did a swatch and I calculated how big I wanted it mm -hmm. and did all that figuring mm -hmm. out? This thing's probably king size. Gee. Well, take that end. That's crazy. I, it's at least the length of this table, and I don't even know how long this table is, but oh it's like gosh. eight feet or something. It's stuck on my oh, watch. No, are you okay? Well, is your blanket Oh, it's open? fine. I can fix it. Sorry. It's okay. Hey. Look how long this thing is. Yeah, that's very wide. Wide. Yes. That's what I'm saying. That would definitely it's cover. super yes. wide. So do you feel that when you're going through each row? Or are you like, oh my gosh, oh, or do yeah. you care? No, I don't, okay. I don't super care, but okay. I do feel yeah. that way. Like, yeah. But it's just funny because I tell you, no matter whether I plan, try to plan ahead and do stuff or not, it, my mm -hmm. stuff just does what it's gonna do. Well, and the weight, once it starts getting oh, that true. weight, then it really does pull and, you know. Oh, that's true but, too, yeah. Yeah. It's Whatever. Weird. Yeah. And it's fine because I'd rather have it too wide because yes. then it really could. Totally. It can't go on our bed at this point in life because we have dogs, so we right. can't have anything yeah, nice. Yeah, it's like crazy. Um, the only problem is that I see is I love your colors and I'm sad. I'm going to be sad when the charming you colors are done. Cause I think those all go so beautifully together. Is it going to look funny, funny going from these beautiful jewel tone? Like, Oh I yeah, don't know, it, it know? probably will, but I don't know what the answer is. I know. <laughs> so I'm not <laughs> starting funny. over. I know there is no solution um, unless charming you just keep sending. Well, you I suppose what I could do, Maureen, yeah. could you, could we just, yeah, do just that? keep sending me? If you guys yeah. haven't shopped with charming, you, I just want to tell you, she is the, her, such well, a sweetheart. Well, her advent was phenomenal. Really In fact, we In fact, I have her, her little bag. Okay, yes. I thought it was so We'll go ahead and show nice. it now. Because and the skein of yarn I left at home, I should have oh, brought it. But I, I was, it. Okay, good. Because I was like, oh my gosh, this is, I loved the color, but I was like, this is totally a Michelle color too. No, it's it's. it's All of her minis great. were gorgeous. Yeah. Every time I opened them, I was just like, wow. They were all stunners. And I just think the bag is super, super, super cute. Super cute. And then it had all these other things in yeah, it too. Yeah, fun stuff. So a little stitch cute markers. Little, and a charm. Charms. So and then, well, but what do you think this is? Is it for scissors? Keep your scissors in maybe? Oh, I don't know. Or hold your needles? I don't know what this is. Um, if I still used wired earbuds, mm. um, it would be good for keeping the cord. Oh, interesting. But I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure what this is for. Hmm. I suppose it could, no. I just, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. I need instructions. <laughs> Very cute. But it is. I mean, the bags, it's got pockets in here. It's got this cute little thing. And it was a surprise. I didn't know a bag was coming. Out. I didn't either. It was the last, what I assumed was the last day mm -hmm. was this box. And this was rolled up 
and mm. this. And so I thought it was just a skein of yarn. Yeah. So when I opened it, I was like, wow, that's <laughs> this. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yes, and just was it was fun. all of her skein, mini skeins were just so pretty. I'm using some right now on a project and they're just Oh, gorgeous. you mean you've wound them? Actually wound them on my quilt rack, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's a valid point, but I do, just you know. Just because these colors are so beautiful and it goes so well together. I have hundreds of mini skeins. I know. So I, I can true. probably that's find true. some. That's true. That I can that's put in here, but you're right. I don't know if that's gonna look funny or not. I but hate then I don't know if it was all the same minis, then that would look kind of weird too. Because we kind of like the look of like you know scrappy. changing it up yeah. and scrap. So I don't know. But maybe. it's true. I mean, these all are very. There's a certain vibe. It to is. Them. They totally are. And it's really. I'm really just. Pretty. I'm shocked at how freaking yeah. wide it is. I don't if it know. wouldn't have been so wide, maybe you could have gotten a whole blanket. <laughs> just those minis. I, I tell you, it. <laughs> one of our viewers, and I didn't write down oh, your name, and if you're watching, I can't even tell you how spot on you were on this. <laughs> yeah, all but right. But she observed some patterns in our behavior mm -hmm. that are so absolutely so accurate. <laughs> yes. um, I do these projects, mm -hmm. I get like way into them, mm -hmm. and then always am like, I don't know if I should even be doing this. Yeah. And I just start questioning it like, yeah. like, this blanket's a perfect example. Right. I mean, I loved it till now. You, yeah. You're like, well, it's super wide. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I don't know how the other colors are going to go. Yeah. And then Leslie yeah. always gets into these projects mm -hmm. and then doesn't have the right yarn or yeah. enough of the yarn. But I rip out stuff too. That's the thing. Like that sweater I was almost done with. And I ripped it oh, that was a lot. Yeah, so it's was like, great. I feel like the older I get, the more I'm not so tied to my knitting. Whereas mm -hmm. before I used to be so like, I don't know, more apt to finish stuff. But Great. Now I now I'm Sorry. in crisis mode about this. I think you're right though. I think you have tons of minis that would probably go, go really well. Yeah. So I don't think you have much to worry about. And you haven't repeated any of these, right? No. This has just been one mini each day. Yeah. So I think you'll be fine because you've got so many blues and yeah, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Or not. I don't you know. know. Who knows? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I spin my wheels a lot. Like yeah. I feel like ninety percent and I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Ninety percent of the time that I invest in my knitting and crochet ends mm -hmm. up being a waste of time. But is it? Because if I'm enjoying it, right, then but I just don't feel like I ever am really happy with anything that I do. Yeah, I mean some stuff I can say yes. Like my half and half wraps, I'm proud of those and I love them. So yeah. it's like I look at those and I go, I love that. But there are some projects that I'm like like that shawl, it's beautiful, but will I ever wear it once I'm finished? Probably not. I loved it when but you I'm were having fun. the center part. Yeah. yeah, but I'm having fun with it. So yeah. it's like, I guess that's fine. It meets that need. Yeah. But I do struggle with like practicality versus like usage. Mm -hmm. Is it a waste of my time if I'm not really using it? And yeah, well, it does what should I do with it? Yeah, what does constitute a waste of time? Like if you're having right. fun doing it. But then if it's never getting used after it's made. Right. Then it's just like a gal at my work, which is such a stupid little thing, but she's a super cute. She's one of our forklift drivers and she's always wearing cute sweatshirts and just, she's adorable. And I told her, I said, Oh, I love your sweatshirt. And she goes, Oh, thanks. Goodwill. She goes, I just go to Goodwill for all my work sweatshirts and stuff like that. And I was like, brilliant, you know, like, wow, here I'm spending money on Amazon, getting t-shirts for work and they're not expensive. I don't spend much on my t-shirts, but I was like, I should go to Goodwill. And so Bob and I went to Goodwill over the Christmas break and I found like, eight shirts and I was like those are super cute wow. and I bought them for work for work okay. and I was like why did I say all that um just to say that I think like I need to get good use out of things and I feel like me knitting things and then them just sitting in the closet it's like what good use am I getting out of them mm -hmm. and I feel like not that cheap is good or that I don't know I just feel like I either need to pass it on to somebody or I need to not knit less. I feel like I already knit less than I used to, but I don't know. I don't know what the solution is to feeling like I'm getting good use out of things and being smart as a consumer. And I don't know. And the money you spend. That so spend so failed. much because we I spend know. so much money on yarn. I know. And, you know what I mean? I'm really, really, really going to try not to. I know. At least. Me too. At least until I go to Maryland in mm -hmm. May. Yeah. Because then I'll be at that fiber show. 
Mm-hmm. And we, Leslie and I talked about this the other day about how, yeah. well, if we're not consu- if we're not buying stuff, what are we going to show on the podcast? Mm-hmm. But then we both have so much in our stash mm-hmm. that we could reshow it and you guys wouldn't remember. <laughs> Or you're a newer viewer. That's true. But likely you mm-hmm. just wouldn't remember because we don't even remember what we have and we see yeah. it frequently. Well, it'd be good to highlight those diaries again. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we could totally do yeah. that. So, have like a bad sheep yarn day where we yeah. just show bad sheep yarn or we have a but what, I mean, cause whatever. We've, yeah, we've we got, I've got, we've got lots of diaries that we can totally. show and Although I love the excuse, well, we have to buy this for the mm-hmm. podcast. It really doesn't pan out when we can't use it as fast as, or as, I as know. much as we, you yeah. know, have. Well, and um, Nitty Natty, she has a podcast. I really like her podcast. Um, she had a goal last, started last year, where she was going to get rid of all of her yarn. Okay. And sit down to one skein. Did she do it? Yeah, she did it. She got it down to one skein. she start with? And did she sell she it? She started with like 50 or 60, oh. so not like us. Oh, drop in the bucket. But... She was very methodical about it. She's very, when she finishes a project, if she has any leftovers, she gives it away. Oh. She's like, I'm not keeping it. Yeah, I don't I'm keep such it. a hoarder with the yarn. Yes. But she lives in New York in an apartment, and so oh. they don't have a ton of storage. Sure. And she said, I like knowing I'm buying yarn for a yes. specific project. I've said it a million I times. I wish that's how I'd done things. Yeah, I kind of do too, because I look at my yarn now, and it's just falling off the shelves. Like, Same. I can't tell you how many mornings I wake up, because my yarn's in my room on this huge shelving unit and stuff has fallen off in the night you know <laughs> I'm just like what's going on that's knocking this stuff off the shelf nothing it's that's plastic it. bags that rubbed it you no. know they just fall off and it's just it's irritating because i'm yeah. just like i can't even see what i have like no. it's getting ridiculous i go into my yarn shire and i am so like i went in i took the dogs to the groomers yesterday mm-hmm. and i came home in between yeah you know, and I thought, I'm going to go sit in the yarn shire because mm-hmm. I never get to sit in there anymore yes. because Grace comes in, she gets into everything. And mm-hmm. and so I go in there and I was so stressed out because yeah. there's so much stuff in there yeah. and I hate that. Yes. And I'd, I've already downsized some of the stuff, yeah. but I still just felt like the walls were closing in on mm-hmm. me. I like I like open space yeah. around me. Yeah. I just don't like the clutter. Yeah. And that room is so cluttered. Yeah. And I have gone back and forth so many times about, should I sell a bunch of my mm-hmm. yarn? Mm-hmm. Um, cause yeah. that's a lot of money that I've got tied up in that. Yeah. But then it's also pretty. It is. And, mm-hmm. and am I going to be able to get more yarn? You know, who knows? Yeah. Like, right. I know supply mm-hmm. chain issues or, you know, there's people that are having a hard time getting a hold of things. And well, I remember my mother-in-law, she used to buy fabric tons of fabric and people would be like oh my gosh she's got way too much fabric but she said i'm doing it for when my husband retires and i can't afford to buy fabric anymore mm-hmm. i want to have and then did she stop and she does it? she has tons i don't know if she stopped completely but i don't think she buys it like she used to but because i used to say that too but now we've been retired tons. for three years mm-hmm. and nothing's really changed yeah i think it depends on your budget and just your retirement and how that works but yeah. Um, but one thing Nitty Natty said too, and that's not her name. I can't remember her name, but that's her podcast name. She said what she recommends people do is like separate out your yarn, this, make a pile of the stuff that you absolutely love, oh, think that. it's beautiful, and then make a pile of stuff that you're kind of on the fence about. And she said, put that stuff away, and in a month or three weeks, whatever, go back and look at it and reevaluate. Okay. Did I miss it? Do I love it? Or, you know, and then decide from there if you're going to get rid of it or whatever. She gives a ton away. She doesn't, she sells some, but she mostly just gives it away. And I think that's a cool thing to be able to do. Um, And I had started doing that here, giving away a skein every podcast, but I need to get back into that. I need to remember to bring skeins of yarn because I liked doing that. I felt like I was at least getting something out, you know, but not at the rate of getting stuff in, you know. Yeah. Needs to. Increase. Well, we always do giveaways, and we do, yeah. you know, yeah. and we can continue to do those. Yeah. And I think those are great too. Yeah. But at some point, you have to look at what you've invested in. Yeah. I mean, that's thousands of dollars, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, it's insane. That's my problem. I shouldn't have done it. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have bought all that yarn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neither. <laughs> Says all of us at some point in yeah. our life. Yeah. But and it's, I mean, it's pretty to look at, but it stresses mm-hmm. me out, and I. If I could look at it and just enjoy the beauty of it and mm-hmm. not feel the stress, that's that would be mm-hmm. the best case. Mm-hmm. But, you know. 
I just feel like I'm not even scratching the surface of getting through it. You know what I mean? If I was making progress through it, yeah. I would feel better about it. But I feel like I'm not even making oh, me a neither. teeny, I'm not even making a little ripple in the water. No. And then when research. I do, you know, you do something that I, that I'm like, I don't really like it. So I know. It's, so it's that vicious cycle of like, I don't Why are we even it. Why, do why, why do we do this? What's it's our next quit. hobby? <laughs> What's the next rabbit hole we can oh go gosh. down and spend too much money on and then it's get crazy. tired of? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, back to knitting. Oh yeah, let's get back on track get here. Back into Before we less give it all up. things, <laughs> throw in the towel. Happy twenty three. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> we quit. <laughs> Oh gosh, that'd be sad. It would be sad. So this is the Petite Knit Sophie Shawl. So this is bigger than the, you know, the scarf. But um, I think that's why I wanted to do it was because I liked this simplicity, sim the simplicity of the scarf, mm -hmm. but I wanted the shawl. And this is that yarn that I absolutely love. The knit pick stuff. The upscale, whatever. And I bought a whole sweaters quantity of it. Oh, good. The upcycle, good. upcycle. alpaca blend. A lot of people went on, yes. I, we heard from, that was yes. buying that. And... Also, so um, someone mentioned, and I, I don't know, I don't know anything about nitpicks. Yeah, like if yeah, what they say, what this right. means, but that it's like a limited time or limited quantity. I don't know or, why it would be, but I, mean, I, I haven't heard that, but it could be true. I that's don't know. just what one of our viewers told us. It definitely so. scared me into going and buying yeah. sweaters. I think so that might be the kid, like it's a marketing <laughs> ploy. Maybe. But I just love the drapiness of this yarn, the softness of it. I just love this yarn. And so I bought a sweaters quantity in the same color. It's this oh, dark gray, charcoal black. It's not yeah. completely black, but it's called, I can't remember. It passes well for black. Oh, I think it does yeah. too. Um, but I, I want to finish this one for the season because I really do think I could potentially wear this. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm with you. A black sweater is always useful. Well, scarf. Okay, I thought you meant shawl for this, for the yarn that you just Oh, bought. yes, yes, okay. yes. No, I was talking about, okay. I think I would use this, yes. the shawl probably more than the sweater, but okay. I do want to knit a sweater with it, but I'm not as in a hurry for that because okay. I feel like, but this I actually want to wear this season. So I would like to get it done soon. It's just, it's kind of boring. These you are know? tiny little needles. Yeah, they are. Do you like them that short? I don't mind them. Okay. I mean, for something like this, I don't I guess, mind. I wonder They're if usually for the hats. My, you know, they're usually using for hats and stuff. But this oh, is such a compare. small width. I mean, I'm not to the full width yet, so, but it won't be a huge width. But anyway, I love. No, let's keep it here yes. for a sec. I want to yeah. compare our needle sizes. Because mm -hmm. these are the Chow Goo shorties. Well, I did change one end because okay. it's a metal. Because well, I don't. Let's try some the shorty side. The, yeah, oh, so yeah, it's even shorter, isn't it? I think they're four. Oh no, they're the are? same. Are they? Yeah, if oh, you right. compare okay. it in there. Yep. Yep. And I actually really like this mm -hmm. size. I do too. It, feel, it fits in my hand mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, I think they're good. Okay. These are the, I can't remember who makes these, but the I don't remember. or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I, I do enjoy knitting on that. It's just I don't knit on it very much because it's just six rows and I do have to have proper lighting because it's, it's dark, dark yarn. yarn. So I don't knit on it as we much. We won't be knitting on it here with my broken lamp. That's right. So, but that's a fun, I do enjoy that project. Good. And I, and I love the yarn. I can't wait to work on, work with it again because it's such a great yarn, but, and cheap, so cheap. Inexpensive. Inexpensive. Is the proper yes, word. Inexpensive. I've been working a little bit on my Mesa wrap. Oh gosh, I've forgotten about that. I know. Gee. And this is going to be another one of those things. I'll just tell you right now. If I wasn't this far, I would just bag it. Yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so funny. I'm just, I'm just I almost wonder if we should pick out patterns and then just sit on the pattern for a while. Oh, I do that too. Don't you have I do. Doing? I have a drawer full, <laughs> yeah, full of patterns. Of those. Oh my gosh, um, true. We're just hopeless. <laughs> there's no this solution. This is what we do. Uh, and I mean, there's like, everything about this should be awesome. Yeah. It's dark. It's, it's navy gorgeous. blue. Yeah. It's Perfect got pink colors. and white. Yep. Yeah. It's yep. Uh, yep. And There's it nothing looks, wrong with it. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Like, it does. you look at this and go, how could you not love that? Exactly. But when I put Same with your bubbles on, cardigan. With your bubbles cardigan, I'm like, I will wear that every day. Like, please finish it. But it's like, it's just funny how some I things know. you just don't work on. I put it on, I attached two cables. Okay. And what's really cool, that Forte Chow Goo needle set that I got, mm -hmm. the 
everything works with my existing interchangeables. Oh, good. good so, good. you know, all the yeah. stuff, you can just kind of do whatever. Yeah, good. So I made a longer cable and I tried it on. Yeah. One of the things I didn't love was... Remember I was telling you I was afraid that I'd knit too far before I'd started the arms? Right. And that, that's a fact. Okay. So I got to looking at the pattern, and I realized I hate this pattern. I hate mm. how it's written because yeah. she did it like she didn't give you inches or anything. Oh. It was all, oh, use this many grams for this. Oh, and that. I, was like, I hate that. Stupid. Oh, I don't Who like does that. that. Yeah. Don't, I'll never buy another pattern. But, you know, a lot of times you don't know that the pattern's you don't. twisted like that till you buy until it. Until you buy it. So, yeah. good plan, guys. Yeah. Um, I, I, you have it backwards, you know that, right? Do I, no. Well, just so that they can see the, you want them oh, to see sure, the front, sure, you know, because sure. it's so pretty funny. I knit too far, so this it's too stuff, wide? No, um, okay. distance from where it sits on my shoulders okay. for the arm, there's like all this bulk up oh, here, so it's going to be like, a real, yeah, like neck. super, um, shawly like. Yeah. Okay. So that being the case, because of what I wanted it for was kind of like a long, like, you know, wear over a t-shirt kind of thing. Yeah. Um, like almost like a cardigan mm -hmm. kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. A wrap. Yeah. But it's going to be more like a shawl wrap. I think, be I think I'm going to not go as long as I planned on. Okay. Because I just don't like how it sits up here so much. It's just, it's yeah. just, you know, I don't like a lot of stuff around my, right. that's why I always wear my hair up. So... It's a little disappointing, but mm. I've been doing that. This is that, the white, actually, the sparkle blue here was from Potion Yarns, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and actually the blue is too. It's just, it's not all sparkle. Mm -hmm. But the white and pink is from a chick that knits, and mm. it's that assigned pooling yes, thing. Yes, beautiful. And I've been doing the different stitches that Don Barker has tutorials for on YouTube. Mm. And I, I mean, I think it's really fun mm -hmm. and it's pretty, mm -hmm. don't even know like what, I don't know what I was just saying. I'm oh, sorry. It's okay. I just lost it's all right. it all. It's okay. It's all right. So it's I, New Year's. It, yeah. <laughs> so it's the start <laughs> as, of the as if that was a good excuse for us. Um, so I think that I am going to do it a bit longer. Like I wanted to, just go, I want to do like the 18 to 20 inches from the yeah. bottom of the yard, yeah. you know, but no, I think I'm just going to get it to where it's. More like it's just a wrap, yeah. like a shawl with armholes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. call it good. Because so, I, I don't want to continue. I'm just like... Are you getting tired of doing the little flowers? Is that no. what you were trying? Okay, so you're still enjoying that. No, that's fun. Okay. I'm doing them sporadically because mm -hmm. I don't want too much yeah, going, going on. on. Yeah. And is there going to be sleeves to it? I don't know if the pattern calls for sleeves okay, or not. Okay. If the pattern calls for sleeves, I'm probably not going to do them. Mm -hmm. Unless I get it to the point and I real, I think, oh, actually this fits me better than I thought it would. Yeah. I just, I think the problem is that from up here mm -hmm. to where you put your arm in mm -hmm. is just, there's just too much. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to be, it's, it's going to bug you. It's not how it was. I don't think that's how it was meant to be. Yeah. Have you looked at pictures of people wearing it and stuff? Yeah. But it's also like you can wear it a couple different oh, ways. Okay. And I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like if I had it to do it over again, I wouldn't even do it. I yeah. would just pick something totally yeah. different. But yeah, we'll see. Mm. So that's it. I'm being true to form. I'm. But you're not ripping it out. No, so I'm that's not going to rip it out. That's I'm good. just going to keep on yeah. plugging away. Yeah. Know. And maybe it'll surprise you and you'll like it way more than you that, it, I mean, that could happen. Stranger things yeah. have happened mm -hmm. in the universe. That's right. Yeah. Not necessarily in my life, but... Um, you never know. Now, I did switch. This is one of those projects that I had switched over to my Fortes. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel like it was sliding good. Mm -hmm. Like, I mm -hmm. felt like I was knitting a lot slower on it. Yeah. So I put it back on these ones. Mm -hmm. But then when I was putting it back from when I put it on the longer cable so I could mm -hmm. try it on, I did one side with the Forte mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the other one, and it was fine. So, yeah, interesting. Because I was thinking, why did I buy these needles? Right. You know, mm -hmm. like we do. But I, I think, uh, I I don't yeah. know. It seemed like when I tried it the second time, it was working better. Interesting. So, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. That is the nice thing with Do needles, Do I sound like though. a malcontent, maybe? No, I feel like we're both just kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> screw it all. All right, we're <laughs> together. We are in this... Um, oh my gosh. Together, yeah, so. we are. <laughs>
Still one of my favorite bags is one that Carrie made for yes, us a few years back. I love mine too. It's so cute. Look at that face. Although I don't have the eyeballs on mine yet, Carrie. Uh, well, so we, we need, need to, to remedy that. Well, aren't we meeting at her house next week? I think week? we are. So I need to remember it. to bring it. But I love that. In the, I was just cute. looking at the interior. Oh, it's and how such cute a happy it fabric. It is. It's very it's fun. fun super cute. So this is one project I'd forgotten I had on the needles. And so this is the um, anthology throw by Helen Stewart. Oh, look, gosh, you just I know, it. but I literally forgot. at Christmas put it aside in okay. that back room. And then the other night I was like, oh, where is that? I need to go get that out. So I'm now, so I knit like crazy on this all day yesterday. Okay. And this one is the one that I, I'm, I've been lately adding. Um, what are her minis that we just got? The... Um, Okay. That we got for Advent. Charming you? Charming you, yes. I yeah, Maureen's uh, minis. I've been adding oh some gosh, of hers they look to so it. So pretty. Yeah, it's so pretty. But now I have five hundred and seventy six <laughs> stitches on this thing. So it's And the thing is, like I love the idea of this, but I don't know what I'd do with a circle. Me either. And the thing is, it's not to me it's beautiful, mm -hmm. but it's not gonna be warm. It's not. It's so holy. It's so lightweight. And I've seen other people's and their gauge is tighter. And I've, oh. I just feel like my gauge isn't as tight. So I feel like I'm not going to grab this to go, oh my gosh, I'm freezing. I want to be warm because this isn't going to warm me up that much. But um, for me personally, maybe other people are different, but I like a woolly, I like something that's got some weight to it. If I'm, if I'm really cold, I want some, like, I have my heating blanket on my chair. That's how bad it gets. So I feel like this is not going to do it for me, but I think it's pretty and it's been very fun to yeah. knit on and it's mindless because a lot of the rows are just knitting. So it's very... Just you can see. I wish I could make it bigger so you guys could see it because you really can't see. But them you've all. seen them all over but Instagram. Seen, everybody's and, knitting them. Yeah, they're yeah. they're you know yeah. I mean they're really pretty and I don't mean to sound negative yeah. about everything, but that's just <laughs> what I when I look at it, I think what am I gonna do with a big circle? I know. Well, I remember when I did that one by Kristen from Bullenvine years ago. Yeah, and I just. I thought it was so pretty. I yeah. just draped it over a chair because to me, that's what it looked like. It looked like something you would just, Fit on a chair. it's a circular, it's uh -huh. really pretty. Um, but this doesn't really match my colors in my house. That one did. It was like oranges and blacks and it, it meshed better with my colors in my house. So I don't know. I don't know if maybe I'll give this to the girls, my nieces. Oh. Um, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. I've given them blankets before and they do like them. So we'll see. I don't know. Remember that one I did, the Starry Night one? Yes. I did that beautiful navy blue and yes. I used beads for yes. the stars, that all the constellation insane. things. Yes. Well, I never, you know, that wasn't a wear it kind of thing. Yeah. And so I had it draped over a table yeah. and it was pretty like that. Well, then I ended up putting a plant on it Oh. and ruined it. <gasps> so it ended up oh, going shoot. in the garbage. What ruined it? Water yeah. damage from the plant? Yeah. Oh, that's such a <laughs> that was, idiot. I remember when you did that, I was yeah. like, wow. Oh, it was so cool. <sighs> so cool. But, you know. Oh, shoot. See, that's one of those things you can be proud of. Like, there's so many things. up in the garbage. I know. It's so sad. Because, like, I was thinking of Kristen's when I did her circular blank. That one I was proud of. Because I remember looking at that going, I would frame that thing. If I could get yeah. a big enough frame, I'd put it behind been. glass and I would yes. hang it. Because I, I just thought it was beautiful and artistic looking. Maybe that's what we need to start doing. We need to start doing shadow bumps. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Uh, but certain projects, it's like I'm definitely proud of them. And some of them, it's like, me, that was easy. It was no big deal. Or, like, Stephen West, some of his projects, I feel like you can be proud of because it's like those are and all of them have gone those are insane i've given those away i have a couple of them still but those to me are just oh i guess crazy. i do still have one the last one that i finished that i didn't actually finish that i yeah. just found off yeah just like i'm just done but those to me are very artistic and they're like, very artistic they're gorgeous so they yes. look cool but you have anything else i have a couple <laughs> things um I started some socks. This is a really fun, simple, simple pattern mm -hmm. called Twisted Staircase, I think. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look it up so I can say who it's from. Mm -hmm. Because I all I'm following the pattern for is the um like the pattern this. repeat. Oh, because okay. It's written cuff down and mm -hmm. I do tail up and I do my own yeah. stuff, you know, but I like it because it's adaptable and you yeah. can just it's very simple. Fun. But um that's cool. I guess this one shows that I'm doing, but this is one shows more of the colors, but nice. it's just really fun. fun. Yeah. And this yarn was a deep stash dive. Mm -hmm. uh, whoa. Hmm. Crap. 
Oh, Fab Funky Fibers. Mm. And the colorway is Game of Thrones. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just... Have you watched Game of Thrones? I watched... I read the books. Okay. And I watched several seasons years ago. Mm -hmm. To the point where if I was to try to pick it up and watch it again, I'd have to start at the beginning. Yeah. And I don't really want to invest my time yeah. in that show. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not knocking it, but mm -hmm. it really doesn't have any redeeming value for mm -hmm. what I think is, like... You know, it's kind of like what you put in right. kind of manifests itself right. and comes out in other yes. ways. And it's just not something that I want to invest your time in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. You might start fighting people or something. Or no. It's, <laughs> it's kind of trashy. No, I, you know, I, I mean, watched, I watched like, the first okay. episode or two oh, and it yeah. was like, oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So yeah, I haven't watched, you but, know I know what I'm so, talking about. but I know so many people love it and and when I say it's trashy, I'm not, I don't say that in a judgmental right. way. It's just, it's just not like, yeah. there's a couple, something, probably some murder thing we were watching, but yeah. a couple things, like I had some exposure to, mm -hmm. and then I had all these weird dreams. Yeah. And this, this isn't like significant. It's just that the point being that Whatever we take in right. throughout our day, right. it gets in our brain, yes. whether we know it or not. Totally, totally. It's and true. It's true. I have yeah. enough of a hard time keeping a I already have my own imagination. somewhat positive yeah. attitude about <laughs> things. Yeah. I, I don't need... Don't need more no. bad input or whatever. Um, but yeah, I need to look up who that... Because it's like, I think it's her first pattern that she's done, so I want to be able to give oh, her yeah. credit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's like Craft Nut, I think, oh. is her... But there might be another initial or something to yeah. the name, so. Um. That is true. Should I show this one? Yeah. This, yeah. this is the pulls and wrap. This is one thing that I feel like I talk about things for months. You know what I mean? I'm ready to like move on. Like, yeah. and I love this wrap, but I feel like I've been talking about it for over a year now, right? Because I started this last year with oh, Advents. Yeah. But not every episode. Not every episode, yeah. but I just feel like. Our viewers are probably like, okay, Leslie, would you finish that thing already? Um, nah. But I enjoy knitting on it, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And these kinds of things are the things that I think surprise me, and I think I actually would wear this around the house. I would just drape it around my neck and, you know? So it's funny what you gravitate towards and actually use versus what you think you're going to use, and then you end up not using it. So it's really long. In fact, I told Michelle, I said, part of me is, like, debating if I should – be done, you know, because I feel like it's so long. But it is this, beautiful, though. Yes, and it's so soft. Yeah. And it smells amazing. But part of me is like, no, I want to go through all 24 or 25, whatever, and get it, you know, do the full yeah. amount. But I think, what am I at now? I'm at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I still am like you halfway. Have a ways to, yeah. Oh, it will be freaking so it's gonna huge. Be huge. It's going to be like my major wrap. Like my blanket. Well, if you think would... about it, I mean, it drapes. Oh. All and the way. And you would wear it like that. Well, I wouldn't. No. I'd probably toss it over my neck. I mean, the only time you'd wear it like that is for a picture. Yeah. No, that's the thing. And I would probably have it draped over my shoulders and I would probably wrap You'd have it to wrap yeah, it wrap a lot. Sometimes. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like at this length, this is already. Yes. So, and you I haven't even blocked two. it. I haven't even blocked it or. Yeah. And that's, it's like, yeah. So I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. So it's like, why not just keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Why finish it just to finish it? I think if I was sick exactly. of it, I'd be like, oh my gosh, let's get this thing off the needles. But I'm not sick of it. And so it's No, like, then yeah, then I should just keep going. Because sure. I'm not gonna hate it if it's longer. I might not like it as much if it's too short. So I feel like I don't know, there's that happy the, medium yeah. though. Because remember those things we all knit a few years back? Um what was it called? Oh, it was the Find Your Fade. Um, yeah. Like the first one before all the millions of yes. other Find Your Fades yes. that followed. Yes. It was the first one. Yeah. And we had to wrap that thing yeah. around ourselves like five times <laughs> just to not trip over it's it. Just, yes. Yeah. And I remember I wore, we went um, to somewhere. Yeah. In Eastern Oregon. Mm -hmm. We went somewhere in Eastern Oregon. Yeah. And I wore, and I remember having it on in the car, you know, because I just finished it and yeah. it was like I had to wear it. And we got out somewhere to like 
look at some scenery thing or something and it like came on and I'm stepping on it and tripping on it trying to get out of the car like, what what is this you end up choking yourself yes, exactly so I think it can be too long yeah I mean I'm just saying for your own death, safety you. I just don't want to see you get hurt okay or die right yeah. I'm, all, I'm always thinking of your safety that's right. better um, to pass that thing off yes I, that's what I think um I don't All right. think Amy was thinking of that when she no, designed the No, no, and I'm not knocking her pattern. <laughs> it's beautiful. Everything I say is not against anyone. It's just well, what yeah, goes through my Amy. head. Yeah. Yes. It's um, other people wear it better. You know, other people do. Baby people are a little more coordinated than I am. I think that's, I think that's safe to say. <laughs> that's what it is. Um, so Twisted Staircase mm -hmm. Socks by Craft Nut Yarns mm -hmm. is the pattern. Very cute. And I have been enjoying it. So. Very cute. Super cute. Lovely. Um, well, the last... Do you have anything else that you're working on? I have one other thing. Go, go for, ahead. You sure? No, go ahead. Because okay. I'm going to find that picture. The last thing I was working on is my blanket. And I put all of Michelle's minis from her advent that she gave me into my bags by Austin Granny. Cool. I just love the colors of that. Like, I love that it's blue so with the red. It's so the... pretty. And I'm just going to keep it in it, even though Christmas is over. Sure, why so, not? Um, oh, yeah, the huge blanket. Yes, the huge, <laughs> really huge blanket. <laughs> Talk about something that can kill you, you know? Yeah. So, yes. Um, oh, and you've got the lock and loo bunny yes. on it. Did you tear her tail off? I don't think so. Her tail's <laughs> gone. <laughs> oh, poor bunny. <laughs> For the so way of the blanket, I, just, <laughs> it's in the blanket somewhere. The, I'm not gonna open it all okay. up, but it's huge. It's, I, it's even <laughs> bigger than it was last episode. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna show you where okay. it was because I don't even remember. It's amazing though, but it's beautiful. And um, I thought about starting a new one because okay. I do want to finish this one, and I think I'm gonna give this one to Emmy and Cole. Good. In fact, I told Emmy I'm giving it to her. I said I know okay. you want it to be certain colors for your house, but I said it doesn't matter. It's just no. so fun. And blankets. I guarantee you, whatever colors she wanted are in here It's somewhere. probably in here, so I think it'll go with everything. Yes. So. But she does live in a tiny home, so it's like I somewhat get it because you want things to kind of go together uh, because it's a yeah, tiny home. So yeah. I somewhat understand what she's saying, but it's her mom. Yeah. So hopefully she'll love it. I but like it. Yeah. yeah. So it's huge. I'm not going to open okay. it. But I did work on that. That's... I tried to bring things that I actually touched. There's, you know, I have another sweater at home that I did not touch at all, so I didn't bring it because I could literally bring a whole car load of stuff. I'm going to do this <sighs> so I don't have to insert that picture. Well, I'll try to insert the picture where I said I would, but you know what happens when I edit. Yeah, I don't. So there's my Sophie's Pretty. Story. I like it. That was, you know, I mean, yeah. So I like your size. I think that's a good size. I think it's a good size. I think it's a good size. I think that... Um, when I said I would do maybe just a little bit more is just because then it wouldn't like when you're taking your coat off or whatever, right. it would come into, I mean, it just, cause mine is literally like a cushy, yes. you yeah. know, like, yeah. which I think is cute. Maybe right that's outfits. what it was even designed to be. It is yeah. more so, but yeah. I think that is nice cause it just gives that a little bit extra to tie it, you know, which is yeah. nice. So whatever though. I mean, I think it's so customizable. That's the beauty of it. For sure. Make it as big or small as you want. So it'd be cute on a little girl too. Cute little girl. Oh, oh cute. Little yes. Girl. I oh, I should make girls. for Emmy. My so Emmy. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or yours. I mean, Maggie whatever. Yeah. My hat mm -hmm. <laughs> made very much progress, but I'm going to show it because I did work on it. It looks so soft and. It's so squishy. cushy. Yes, so squishy. Yes. yes. Um, this is the Strata Beanie by Beanie Boat. And mm. yeah, again, it's. I mean, I would like to finish it this year so I could wear it, but if I don't, it's okay. You better okay. finish it this year. It just started. Well, I don't mean it's funny. <laughs> I meant this days. season. I'd like to finish it <laughs> yeah. in, you know, the winter season. ideally in this winter season. Yes. And I could probably pull that off if mm -hmm. I would work on it. Mm -hmm. And I might because I might not be working on that Mesa wrap for a while because I might be annoyed with that. Uh -oh. I, don't I don't know. 
Yeah. And the thing is, I don't even know why we say things like that. Like, um, let's finish it this season. Cause it's like, I get sweaters in the middle of summer. Like, I don't care. Well, you know only what I mean? because then I could wear it. True. And get some use out of yes. it this year, this season. Yeah. 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 And a lot of my hats, I don't know what happened to them. Like mm -hmm. if I put them somewhere last year for this year, yeah. but I can't find a some lot of safe. them. So yeah, that somewhere that I wouldn't where forget about them. Yeah. And yeah, they're gone. I searched and searched to where I was almost going to buy another one. Yeah. For my Fitbit. Oh, just mm -hmm. to, you know, yeah, yeah. because when I do walk the property and stuff, I kind of like to know how far I've gone. Yeah, it, definitely. It, I put it into my Noom. I do Noom mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it just makes you feel like mm -hmm. it's all stupid, Yeah, but it's like, it's checking that box. Yeah, like I did something. Mm -hmm. And, um, anyway, like I could not, I looked everywhere. Weird. So then I was going to buy another one, but I really didn't want to buy another one. Cause this is, I've already bought several mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, I either lose them. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. So then I was just going to get a simple pedometer. I was like, just get a simple, because I don't, I don't really care about the GPS tracking. Right. I don't really want to be tracked. Everywhere, right. You right. Know? Right. But um, I ended up finding it. So oh, good. Good. Point to that was. I don't know. Yeah, I'd put it somewhere safe. I'm sure. Yeah, we always try to put things safe. Yeah. Safekeeping. Um, okay. Do you have any other projects? Well, I don't know where I put that piece of paper that says. Oh, right here. Right in here. Why we oh. see? I, I just have community service, okay. so go to your next part, whatever. You well, do. I don't have a project to show. Okay, I just have other stuff to talk about. Yes, like um, so our mm -hmm. giveaway mm -hmm. of the awesome Harry, uh, Harry Potter, Pot Beatrix Potter, <laughs> some another, Potter. Another Potter, it's just a some Potter. Potter, the original Potter. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, long before pre Potter, um, pre pre Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Um. I did not hear from the winner Aww. of that bag. So Aww. we're going to move on. I'm so, And I'm sorry if she ends up contacting mm. me after this, but sorry. Yeah. Our new winner is Kira, Kyra, K-I-R-A mm -hmm. Miller. Congratulations. So, yeah, you get the Harry... <laughs> <laughs> you get the Harry Potter bag, okay? Yeah, yeah. I have yeah. to find if I have a Harry Potter bag to send you. <laughs> um, the Beatrix Potter bag. Yes. So email me at Naughty Nitwits at gmail.com your address and I will get that off to you yes and we got a lot of input on our last episode about you know things that people would mm -hmm. and if we haven't if you haven't heard from us mm -hmm. don't think oh we I, we're gonna save those comments mm -hmm. and just kind of dip into them now mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. when we feel like it yes and have already um and mm -hmm. one person I don't remember who didn't mm -hmm. respond to me yet and I was I was asking you to send me your address, mm -hmm. not because I'm a stalker yeah. or I want to dox you. Right. I want to um, send you something. Yes. So keep, yes. Don't lose hope. If um, totally, and it was a long list, so yeah, it, which is great. Can, I mean, yes. it's fun to just mm -hmm. know that okay, we can just. Let me feel like I wish it. there was a way, though, and I'm sure there is if you're tech savvy, but to print off all of those. Oh, and gosh. that way we could just go, yep, I sent something to that person, check, oh. that person's done. Because I feel like it's an overwhelming list and I want to tackle them, but I feel like, how would well, I know? Well, we're not gonna be able to get to everyone. No, I know, but that's the so, thing, it's like some way to keep it organized. What we could do, well, we'll talk about it yeah, when we're done. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay, but yeah. so go ahead with your. Well, no, I was just, Maggie, one of our lovely viewers had messaged me asking me if she could send me some wool yarn that she, I think wool just doesn't um, feel good on her skin. So I was like, yes, I would love for you to send me some woolly yarn. So she sent me this beautiful package of all these gorgeous yarns. This one is Texas Prairie Fiber Co. It's hand dyed in Weatherford, Texas. And it's 80% alpaca, 20% wool, 300 yards sport weight. And it's called Blue Bonnet. And when my daughter Emmeline saw it, she loved it. So I'm thinking I have to knit something or crochet something. I suggested matching hats for her and her husband. That's true. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. I mean, but, I can see why you didn't immediately jump on that. But. but yeah. But it's super soft. I mean, I think it's really soft. But, you know, everybody's sensitivity is different. You always so. say that and look at me like. I know. I mean, you know. I think it's soft. But yeah. But anyway, that was beautiful. And then she sent me these You to Yarn. Hand-dyed, nature-inspired, eco-friendly yarns. Um, this is Sustain Me. It's their sock fingering, 100% merino. In these two colors, ice and this one I don't think said a color name, but I thought that was really pretty. I love that blue. Mm -hmm, that's great. So blue. pretty. And I think this stuff's soft too. I know. I think it's soft. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she sent me this one by Fiber Co. Camellia Fiber Co. Um, and this one is their worsted weight. 100% Highland wool, smoked salt. Thought this would make a really cool hat. Be a perfect hat. Mm -hmm. 
perfect hat. And then this one, I don't know if it's hand spun. I have the card somewhere. But I thought that was a pretty blue. So thank you so much, Maggie. That was super duper sweet. Very nice. And she, it was hilarious though, because she had shrunk wrapped everything and in individual, you know, shrink wrap. So it was just, you know, really? shriveled up. So when I cut it open to, you know, things slowly started to- I wonder how she did that. She probably has a machine that shrink wrapped. But this, like, after it calmed down, everything looked even prettier than when I first got it. Because when I first opened it, it's like everything was all- well, you know, I want because, something like that because when I mail yeah. stuff, it would be nice. It does. Yeah. It really vacuum vacuum seals. I well, guess we have a um, we have the one for food. I wonder if I you can probably. Oh yeah, you can probably use it for anything. I think so. Why not? I don't know. I never I thought about it. The bags are expensive. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But exciting. shipping is expensive. It is. So hmm. yeah. But it was just funny to get them because I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> I to pull out the it was thing. like, it was all just, you know, but it looks beautiful now. It obviously went back into its yeah. normal shape. No, it's great. But it was very fun. But thank you, Maggie. That was super duper sweet. And I'm excited to. Especially when I send something those. over to Jacinta from us, it would be nice to be able to shrink it down. Get yeah. all that air out. Yeah. yeah make I'll it, use the, mm -hmm. I'll sacrifice a bag for that. Yeah, no. And it's, I mean, it doesn't harm the yarn. No. I mean, obviously it looked weird when it came out, but That's given funny. a day or so, it, it all looks beautiful. So very fun. Um, I have a question from one of our viewers named Michelle Johnson. Mm -hmm. She, this is a neat idea of what mm -hmm. she's doing. She's making a blanket with indie dyed yarns from each of the 50 states. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? But she hasn't found any indie dyers from North or South Dakota. Mm. So if you are a dyer or you know of one, would you let us know so we can pass that information nice. along? Huh. So, interesting. That's Very just cool. a public service announcement. Yeah. And um, so Christy, Christy, Christy. <laughs> Christy? I thought I was going to say Christine, <laughs> but I see that it's Christy. Um, or Christy. I mean, whatever. It's very For, fancy. <laughs> Christine, fancy girl. Um, with my whole, I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm missing. Well, don't sh well but in case it showed up, I don't think it I, don't I haven't noticed has. at all. Okay, never mind. I need, I need to get an implant <laughs> of a tooth in my mouth, mm -hmm. but I can't until it heals. Mm -hmm. And originally, I wasn't going to. I was like, I'm not going to spend thousands of dollars on this mm -hmm. old car, mm -hmm. but. Now that it's missing and I look like a hillbilly, I am. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if, that's why I'm trying to not show my... I'm not oh. smiling at anyone anymore. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Unless I can turn my oh, head. Oh, gosh. I'm just gonna... I have not even noticed. Uh, I know, but you're my friend. Yeah. Wouldn't. Anyway, from Creatively Altered, I had mentioned her shop because I bought some yarn from it. And she sent mm -hmm. these fun... So unique fun. sock. Oh my gosh. Um, fun, fun. Self striping matching sock kits. Nice. Well, and what's really cool, I like it. They mm -hmm. show it. Oh, what it looks like? Yes. Oh, that's okay. cool. Nice. So these are them. Very cool. So we're going to give one away. Fun. So Very fun. to enter for her, for one of these, to win mm -hmm. one of these, what we would like you to do is check out her shop. It's mm -hmm. creatively altered, and I will link it. Mm -hmm. Um, and use the um, keyword unique, just like mm. it is here, U-N-E-E-K. Mm. That way I can search the comments for the winner for that. But Fine. anyway, um, so. Oh, oh. Throwing stuff around. Yeah, let's just mm -hmm. see. Um, go to her shop and just check it out and tell us, you know, mm -hmm. if you see something there that you think or whatever, just. Now are you letting them pick which one they want? Or yeah. you're just picking one? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's what are your options here? Oh, color 59 or color 68. Which you guys show them which one. Okay, this is 68. Oh, so, you know, if you do wait, I mean, I guess that's something you could tell us. Yeah, yeah, but you know how Beautiful. we are with giveaways, we aren't real like specific about mm -hmm. anything. We're, we're trying, we've been trying to get it dialed in. After all this time, oh my gosh, how to yeah. properly do them. But, yeah. Um, anyway, so Crazy. thank you, Christy. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you guys check out her shop. Yeah, fun. Very fun. Okay. Cool, cool. 
I yeah. just have I just have community service, which Me is too. not much. It's yep. just I literally just bought the sweaters plenty of upcycle, which I already showed you guys. Okay. So I'm not gonna show the whole dang bag. In fact, I should have just brought one skein. It's, it's <laughs> but like you a wanted to bag bring it all. full of all of it. So this is the upcycle up half a blend worsted weight in the color fog. So that's the color fog. And I just think it's amazing. If any of you guys else bought some, let me know what you think of it. I mean, maybe I'm crazy, but I just think it's so economical and soft and squishy and I love it. And then the only other thing I got was I got my skein of linen quill so I can finish my sweater. Um, this colorway is, do they not have a color? Yes, they do, egg blue. Yeah, is it robin's egg blue or just egg blue? Bird's egg blue. You know what's funny is one of our chickens Sorry. lays mm -hmm. eggs in that color. Yeah, yeah, we used to have a chicken that did too. Yeah. I love it. I do too. It's like robin's egg blue is what I have heard it called. And robin's must lay some of that blue too. I don't know, but it's beautiful. So that's it. I didn't do too bad. Good. I mean, you know, yeah, that's no. all my community service that's for three great. weeks. Yeah, I, I think that's I'm, pretty dang good. I similarly, I didn't do too bad either. Yeah. Um, at least that I can think of. Yeah. I the the suri that I had to get for my Sophie scarf mm -hmm. I got from Julie's yarn boutique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she sent um her little thing's just so cute. Mm hmm I I thought I had them on something. Um she sent these little things with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These little guys, Cute. little needle toppers mm -hmm. with my Suri alpaca. Cute. So I would buy from her again. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure, you know, because I, it was just like, it. I don't know. It was just like, I kind of went for the most, one of the most inexpensive ones I could find yeah. because it's yeah. Suri alpaca in white. Right. I don't even know if I can use. Mm -hmm. And I was happy with it. So, Good. Good. Um, okay. Fun. <laughs> so you guys know this. What are they called? Um, it's not on here. Yes, it is. Uh, stunning, oh stunning string studios. Mm -hmm. I did their three month, um, mini skein mm -hmm. and I thought it would just end after three months oh. because I specifically did three the months. three month yeah. thing. So I didn't think to go in and cancel it. Oh. And then I got charged and sent the fourth month. And oh. so it's fine. I don't yeah. like them. And so I'm going to give them away. Oh, but okay. um, it just kind of surprised me yeah. that it was called so a three, a three month. month. Right. I think you're saying you'll do at least three months. Oh. <laughs> so um, whatever. I'm sure it was in the fine print somewhere mm -hmm. and I didn't catch it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But if you are doing the stunning Stunning String mm -hmm. Studio um, subscription. Subscription. <laughs> wow, that is a tongue a twister. Just know that you have to go in and cancel Manually it. Cancel, so yeah. you don't end up, if you don't want to keep getting them. You yeah. know, part of me was like, oh, darn. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Mm. But then when I got them, I was like, no, I really don't. I don't really. They're fine. Like, mm, I'm not. They're pretty. Like, they're sparkly. They're sp that's why I went with them mm -hmm. was because mm -hmm. they offer it in sparkle, yeah. which I think is a great idea. Yeah. And if I didn't already have a bunch of minis, mm -hmm. I would be looking at these totally different. Right. But since I have so many, yeah. I don't need to keep getting yeah. these. Yeah. Um, they're 20 gram. Like with the mm -hmm. row one, those are 10 gram mm -hmm. each, which is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Although not perfect for my big, huge king size blanket it's because true. it does take it's more true. than 10 grams. But well, and if you're doing any kind of a crochet blanket, I almost like the 20 grams because yeah. you feel like you can go a little bit further. You That's know, obviously true. you can go further. But yeah. Um, yeah. But whatever. I mean, these are not, I mean, I'm not, yeah. not like I said, I'm not knocking yeah, them. I just, I, I feel like, yeah, let's just do this as a giveaway yeah. because, yeah, um, it's fun for other people to get it's, to try stuff it, out. That's exactly right. I know yeah. that there's a lot of people out there that don't have a bunch of minis. Exactly. exactly. So, <clears throat> yeah. For this one, for this, for this giveaway, mm -hmm. I want to use the word keyword cupcake mm -hmm. just because it's on here. Mm -hmm. And, as what you could tell us that would be nice to know is if you do have not so much resolution, but is there something in 23 related to crafting that you plan on that you'd like to try? Mm -hmm. Whether, you know, if you're a knitter and you want to try to crochet or you mm -hmm. want to do sock, whatever, mm -hmm. you guys understand the question. And mm -hmm. you also know that we don't really care if you don't answer it. We'll enjoy your answers either way. And so if you just say cupcake, we're fine. We're good with just cupcake, but. It's well, always your favorite cupcake, yeah. You know, I would love to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Did you have any other? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, um, Night Owl Fibers mm -hmm. had posted on Instagram about her, I'm pretty sure it was her dog needed mm -hmm. some veterinary care. Mm -hmm. And so she did a, like a fundraiser kind mm -hmm. of thing, like to get money for that. Mm -hmm. It might even say on her something about it, but mm -hmm. so I did that because of course I oh, am going to be sympathetic to somebody's mm -hmm. anything to do with their pet. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'd, puppy love, self-striping, mm -hmm. and um, so there's that. Mm -hmm. Fun. Okay. It kind of looks like it'll be a Valentine color. It almost. does kind so of look in chocolate and yeah, pinks mm -hmm. for, for love. I don't know. Yeah, interesting. Well, Pretty. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be fun to watch and see how that mm -hmm. works up. Yeah. Um, and it might is one might be a giveaway yeah at some knows. point especially as it gets closer to valentine's day because mm -hmm. like you said it does kind of have it that. does just reminds me of chocolates yeah and, yeah i don't know what the pink is i guess just hearts i don't know love love pink. i don't know why pink is love i don't really know yeah who knows lollipop yarn gorgeous did a did a shop update mm -hmm. christmas morning mm-hmm and she did it at 7 a.m. her time, mm. which made it four here. So for whatever reason, I decided I had to have this this particular one when pigs fly. To to, yeah. It's so ridiculous. I mean, it's it's great. It's beautiful. Like I can show you a picture of it on her website, mm -hmm. but I can't honestly say why. Like looking back, once I bought it, and mm -hmm. I I love it. Don't mm -hmm. I'm not saying yeah, I don't gorgeous, love it. Yeah. It, I think it's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. But once I bought it, and then like later in the day when I looked, I was like, why did I set my alarm for 4 a.m.? Number one, this was a pre-order. Oh, shit. I shoots. didn't need to get up at 4 a.m. Yeah. to buy this. Mm -hmm. I could have done it today. Mm -hmm. Right now when I'm already awake. Mm -hmm. um, at a normal hour. At a normal hour. <laughs> this one was, this is called Mayhem. Mm -hmm. And it, it was on sale. Mm -hmm. And so... This one I would not have been able to there get had I waited. There you go. It it's lovely, but it's not worth getting up at four a.m. for. Wow. So I mean, it's nice, it's but I'm just an idiot, is what I'm saying. I do the same thing. Uh, I make late night purchases on Amazon behavior. or whatever that I'm just like, why did I do that? I just ordered a bracelet last night. I'm like, do I need a bracelet? No, I don't need a bracelet. Will you That's wear pretty. it? Pretty, yeah, I will. So I'm a jewelry person, you know. But it's just, it's, did I need it? No. Well, it's none of us silly. are sitting in a world where we need anything. True. Um, true. I mean, between you and me, yeah. not like anybody. Right. But right. Yeah. I want to. So I wanna it's impulse to... purchases. Yes. Just like, Although oh this gosh. one, I have to tell you, was not impulse because she'd been posting them on Instagram. Okay. I think she I was just teasing you. The I whole fall time. prey to. Um, I'm did. very mm -hmm. much. I fall for all the marketing mm -hmm. scams. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying she was scamming. No. I'm just saying she that just has beautiful stuff. She does. And she puts it in front of your face enough. And I do really like this. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful um, yeah still on pre-order though still yeah. could have got it now it's beautiful um and then the other one is not available but and i don't know if, See, I, if do I was show. knitting socks actively right now i'd be totally i'd be buying it right now yeah i'm tempted but i'm like leslie how many socks have you knit in the last two years None. and besides so that shush. you know that i'll use half yeah. of it and give the other half to you mm -hmm. so you're covered there you go These are, I, might, us, yeah. I might try to go you know bigger socks just to mm -hmm. get my get your money's worth get my money's worth mm -hmm. it doesn't matter it's I just know. funny and i have so many i have beautiful self-striping yarn i do too. that i just don't touch so it's silly i i have it, it's fun i will say with the self-striping it's fun for me because mm -hmm. i've probably got 30 ish mm -hmm. skeins of self-striping yeah. that i've been building mm -hmm. i mean like some of yeah. them go way back yeah and it's it is kind of fun when you like with the the one that i'm doing now the fab funky fibers mm -hmm. it was fun to go back and like Mm -hmm. I specifically wanted to choose one from a long time ago mm -hmm. just to, mm -hmm. I don't know, like at some point I had to have this. Yeah. Okay, let's see why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, so. Well, and I think the key is to giving away. If I'm giving away more, then I'm going to feel better about the stash I have. I think the guilt I feel is from it just sitting there and getting no use. You yeah. Know? That's I, the I know guilt I feel. Kind of it's a, like, I mean, it doesn't expire. It's not going to go bad. Curdle. Mm -hmm. I don't know about, I'm sure someone will tell us about bugs or something. Yeah, all mine are in plastic bags now. But, oh, okay. Which isn't fun for storage. It, it just well, slips off the shelf. At, yeah. It's not, yeah, it's not as beautiful to look at. So, but I do that to protect it. And I have cedar blocks everywhere. Yeah, I've got the cedar blocks everywhere. Yeah. But probably yeah. should do something. 
Just use uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Maybe I do need a knitting machine. The more we talk crank about it, I just need stuff. to crank. I just need to be a knitting machine. Yeah, we need to crank out hats and mittens <laughs> and then and give, them, just away. give them away. Yeah, that sounds and like socks. a job. I know because you're mass producing. I don't really want my hobby to be my job. Yeah, that's true. So. I know. We can't solve anything here. No, we've only made things worse. <laughs> supposed to be inspiring on New Year's Day. Oh, is that part of the <laughs> part of the deal? <laughs> People watch our podcast for inspiration. <laughs> Dang it! No, well, they don't watch us to get depressed. I hope, but I don't know. I don't feel like we're doing a very good I job. Know, of, kind of, kind of. Wah, wah. <laughs> Well, all we're doing is just sharing with you what's on our mind. <laughs> and in our and hearts. It's dark place. <laughs> it's dark and ugly. Oh, God. Oh, well. You can't, you can't accuse us of not being real. <laughs> we're genuinely depressing. <laughs> oh, boy. Way to get more viewers. What else can we talk about that might, yeah, be a little more like... Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't know. I have no New Year's resolutions. I have no goals for 2023. I, I mean, kind know. of. You're going to... You're going to... You're going to... Before we podcast next, you're going to choose three projects to work on. Am I? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. And what am I going to do? I don't know. So I just scared, helped you. I'm scared you're going to rip stuff out or something. I don't know. I, I'm kind of... Okay, you know what I'm going to commit guidance. to do? Huh. I commit to pulling out my Bubbles cardigan okay. and working on those sleeves at least some before we podcast. Okay, again. so you can show us some progress. So I can... And see, we'll forget all about this next podcast. So everybody's going to be like, will she do it? I, I don't write know. It down. We'll, we'll forget it next I'm podcast. I'm going to write it down or we you will. Should. We'll totally forget. You should. And then you're going to show up here and I'm going to be like, and we'll start talking. Yeah. And then midway through, we'll be like, there was something we were going to do. Yeah, what were we going to do? And everybody else will be waiting, wondering, yeah. did she knit Is on there her hope bubbles out card there? again? Does 2023 have hope? Or have they already given up? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh, well. oh yeah. Go somewhere else if you want inspiration, because <laughs> it's not here. Uh, if you're really a giddy, uh, happy person, come watch us. We'll bring you down a couple notches. Yeah, yeah. If you're feeling all silly and stuff, <laughs> full of yourself, we'll bring you right down. Is anything you do worth your time? That's right. Is your life you worth do anything? What you do? I mean. Wow. Just kidding. <laughs> We're filled with joy, just not necessarily yeah. about our knitting projects. I know. Right uh, yeah. I'm enjoying certain ones. I mean, I'm definitely enjoying the circular blanket. Is it practical? No, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I'm enjoying the, what's the other one I was thinking? <laughs> I already forgot about it. Um, I can't help you there. Before. It, um, the sweater? No. The sweater. The other Amy's thing. No. Nope. No. Oh, the, that shawl that Suburban Sisters Oh, okay. Made. What tomorrow I like brings. that. Okay. Um, but I think I probably like the circular blanket better because I don't have to think about picking up a hundred and some stitches. I know. That's daunting. So I'm not Very looking daunting. forward to that one. But no. <clears throat> I need to just do well, it. Well, see, and that's another thing just to keep on the negative rant. <laughs> yes, please do. Because we were about to get yeah, happy. So we, yeah, we can't get um, happy. The Bubbles Cardigan. When I get yeah. the sleeves done, I have to pick up all those damn stitches for serious? the... Yes. That's what keeps me from doing most yes. cardigans. But then I'll hear about patterns of cardigans that it's all yeah. included. And I'm like, okay, I just need to focus on that. Because I love cardigans. And I think me I would too. use cardigans. I, they're very user-friendly. Because I could wear that to work and, on and take off. it off really on quick. Off. Yep. You know. But I don't like that. I feel like that's so many different parts. Okay, I got the sleeves done. I'm done. Nope. Now I got to pick up... And you got to make sure it's even. And, um, somewhat. Yeah. Oh. And I don't blame I, you. It's not going to be pretty. Like yeah. it's not going to be neat. And would it look pretty without it? Could you not do it I and it would be okay? You, you would notice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. That's okay though. That's fine. That's all right. So I do have stitches to pick you up. You have though. done it before. I have. You can do and it. And maybe this time will be better. You yeah. know, there are those things I've noticed in knitting or, mm. or crochet. Where I've done it in the past and it I've just dreaded yeah. doing it again. And then when I do it, it's like, why did I dread yeah, that so much? It really true. wasn't a big deal. It's true. So it, maybe it shows you how be. far you've come as a knitter that things that used to scare you or that used to be like, oh my gosh. Like winding yarn. Well, I'm still I'm graduating from that. I don't know. It's still not fun. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like super like it. Yeah. And I was really close at one point. I, I wouldn't say really close because they're so expensive, mm -hmm. but I was very, very tempted 
buying one of those electric. Automatic electric, yeah. But then it occurred to me, one of the things I don't like about um, doing that mm -hmm. whole process is that it gets all tangled yes. and stuff. Yes, yes. And that's just going to get tangled on steroids. Oh my gosh, totally. You know? Yeah, and before because, you can stop it, yes, it would be just like, That yeah. attachment that I bought for the um, drill mm -hmm. that I thought was kind of yes. cool, you know? All I did was make super big messes yeah. really fast. No, that's the thing. I don't think we can do those kinds no. of things. They don't, I work. Mean, they don't work for us. I mean, they work for some people. Yes, they don't work for us. But yeah. No, that's the thing. The knit shops make it look so effortless when they wind your, and it almost looks like melodious, melodious, yeah. like beautiful, like music. Like yeah. it looks great and easy. And then when I do it nine times out of 10, I'm winding and either something gets stuck around my ball winder mm -hmm. or there's a knot or I grabbed the wrong end to yeah. start, even yeah. though I tried to set it yep. up properly. Same. So it just never goes. I think that, okay, that must be the reason. It never goes perfectly smoothly. It doesn't, yeah. it's not like the knit shops. Mm -hmm. And so I want that experience. And I would have to get and, an automatic one. And some and some skeins go so well. Some behave better. And, than others, and you yeah. think, why is this such a thing? And then mm. you do another the next one. one is like, screwed up. Yeah. And you do the same. You do it the same way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, if they could all go really well and smooth, I think I'd like it better. You still wouldn't like it like it, but it would be better. Yeah, yeah. Because every time I'm just like, oh my gosh, here we go again. Yeah, you know, I've got to untangle this mess or whatever. So. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we, we are sorry if we made you sad about anything. <laughs> we don't even have alcohol. We're not. We're not. Alcohol not to that's blame. why. Yeah, maybe we needed. Some. We should have been drinking. <laughs> um, we're not honest to God. We're not sad about. No. I mean, we're happy. We're we're yeah. fine. It's yeah. just when you start looking at your little things. I think mm -hmm. just the nature of like podcasting without mm -hmm. having any real. Mm -hmm. um, like some people that podcast, they have yeah. things that they're trying to get through and right. things that they want to... And finished objects every time. Or they have yeah. products that they're selling, you know, whatever mm -hmm. the thing. Whereas we're just yeah, like, nothing. whatever, this yeah. is just our stuff. <laughs> and so we're naturally going to be analyzing it more than right. we probably should. Yeah, so just moving on. Yeah. yeah. We just, fixate just on what we're selling yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We so. don't sell nothing, so we just have to make up stuff. I yeah. <laughs> Find things, maybe, Yeah. <laughs> Find things to complain about. That's, right. That's what our podcast is. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We just complain about stuff. Yeah, well, we are the naughty nitwits. Maybe we That's should change true. it to the complaining nitwits or something. I don't know. <laughs> complaining nitwits. <laughs> the malcontent wits. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, new 2023. Now we've got goals. We've now got Podcast goals. name has changed. Yeah. Yes. Wow. All right. Okay, but yeah, fear not. We're all good. We're good. Yeah. We'll be in better spirits in two weeks, hopefully. Or not. We get to see I mean, Carrie and Lori next Saturday. I'm yeah. excited for that. Good. Yeah. Are you excited for that? <laughs> wow. I just felt like... Do you think I wasn't? Or? <laughs> I don't, I'm just happy to hear that you're excited about something. You know, you had me worried for a minute. Yes, I'm excited to okay. see them. Yes, all it's right. been a long time. So. It has. It yeah. hasn't been as long for me. I know. Not saying that, okay. They don't miss you as much. No, they don't. You, I, I don't even have to go. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, <laughs> just go. Everyone will be good. No. Yeah. It'll be nice. No, it will be. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll leave you on that lovely note. Yeah, happy so. New Year. Yes, legitimately happy New Year. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.